Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Igo Rar and welcome to Let's Araxium. And today I'm going to be stabbing my faction in the back to bring you the car, the Terran Republic's default LMG. Now before I begin, I do want to mention one thing, and that is, unlike every other Let's Araxium video I've done, I have absolutely nothing else to add to the start of the video. So I'm just going to ramble on for a few moments to kill some time. So, uh, how's your day going? Oh yeah, good, good. Oh, my day? Um, well, I got to drive a Porsche today. Yeah, an overpriced pile of shit that thing was. Although, when I went to fill it up at the gas station, everyone kept calling me sir, and there are two women there checking me out, so... I'm saving up for a Porsche now. Also, my penis feels a little bit bigger. Mm. Alright, enough rambling, let's look at the stats. Starting off with a fire rate of Daka 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 Daka, a damage model of Daka dropping off to Daka da Dok Dam Damn it, damn it! Ugh. Sorry, I've been playing too much TR. Let me try that again. Starting off with a fire rate of 750 rounds a minute, a damage model of 143 damage up to 10 meters, dropping off to 125 damage at 65 meters, we have a prime example of an LMG that daka da daka 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 Next is the magazine size of 100 rounds, with a reload speed of 5.4 seconds for a short reload, and 6.2 seconds for a long reload. I gotta be honest though, I've never actually seen the long reload animation for the carve, so for all I know that 6.2 second figure is a lie, and instead rainbows and unicorns could come flying out your ass when you run the thing dry. And finally is its velocity of 600 meters per second. Overall, the carve is just a solid weapon. Unlike its shiny brother, the Orion, there isn't a lot of nuances and small things about the weapon that require a PhD in planet side to fully understand and use to maximum effectiveness. It's short and sweet, and to the point, a solid weapon. I would recommend running it with whatever sights you're comfortable with, although I prefer the one-time scope. I always pick the forward grip because laser sights and LMGs are generally a no-no, and I never really put any attachment on the barrel, although I could see some viability in the suppressor. It's also worth mentioning that the carve is Daka, da Daka Daka, buzz cut was right, da Daka 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 Daka! So that brings us to our final question, is this gun worth your time? And the answer is yes, my god, do I love the carve. Now before I go spunking my own pants telling you about just how great this weapon is, I do kind of have to deal with the elephant in the room, and that's comparing the Orion to the carve. There's a lot of little differences between these two weapons, but the major characteristics that set them both apart are its magazine size and ADS speed. I have Araxium both these weapons, and really when it comes down to it, the carve handles a bit better at range, and is a lot better for holding your ground, as whereas the Orion is much better suited for an aggressive role and everything that goes with it. But it doesn't quite have the staying power that the carve has when you're trying to hold your ground or defend a position. And you know what? Personally, I actually kind of like the carve better than the Orion. And I know right now someone else is watching this saying, whatever, Orion's OP. And to that person, all I have to say to them is, screw you. I'm allowed to have opinions too. Like, m maybe I think Abandoned NS is a good base. I don't, it's shit, but I'm allowed to think that. Anyways, Flame Wars and Daka praising aside, I do have a few issues with the weapon, the first of which is the magazine size and reload speed. Now, maybe it's just because I haven't fully embraced Daka, but the 100 rounds of the carve feels a bit overkill, and the times that I actually dipped into the last 20 rounds of the magazine were far and few between. On top of that, due to its 5.2 second reload, I found myself unsure at times whether I should hang back and take a reload or push forward, which on my BS character, that's never really a question I had to ask myself. Also, as a side note, it's worth mentioning that this is the very reason that the Butcher is bad and needs to have belt-fed ammo. Okay, thanks. The second issue is an issue that a lot of TR weapons have, and no, I'm not talking about horizontal recoil that's so random I would rather take my chances on a bottle of pills I found in a dumpster rather than place money on that shit. No, I'm talking about the muzzle flash. I get that TR is all about the DACA, but seriously, in the dark, 
against Vanu that's wearing that black digital camo, kind of like I do because I'm a bastard. Seriously, I've essentially been flashbanged by my own weapon at times because of this. You know something is wrong when I have to start messing with my lighting settings just to see what I'm shooting at in the daytime and the nighttime. But, minor complaints aside, the Carve is a damn good weapon. So good that I feel like making an alternative character just to try it out is something that everyone should do. Anyways guys, that's it for this time. My name's I Go Rar, and I'll dock at you next time. Prowler, I'll let you guys get the kill. Took one shot. Ah, uh, the sky guards are real. Didn't even hit that. That's from way over on the hill too. That's yeah, silly. Oh, uh, pass up. Oh, yep. Two mozzies possibly. Yeah. Got her. Whoa! Oh! Oh! I thought I had, I thought I had my. I thought I had um. <laughs> rep tool, but uh, I fired my sh This, ladies and gentlemen, is a primary example of why you always hop in with your repair gun out. <laughs> uh, we may have been able to save that, oh well.